Yo, 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 boys, what is going on? And welcome back to the channel once again. Today, where we are going to be trying out Sparky for the first time in a long time. Now, anyone that knows or has been watching the channel for a while will know that I have some very strong opinions about Sparky and um, about what I think about it. But we're going to be giving it a go today. You know, I haven't played it in a very, very long time. So you're going to be seeing if it's still as broken as it was, you know, a few weeks ago, um, whenever it was just absolutely everywhere. Actually, it's actually quite a long time ago now, actually. Um, it must, yeah, it must, be, it must be quite a while. I don't actually know the exact amount, obviously, but it feels like it's, it's definitely been a while since Sparky was the main thing. Now I'm just getting terrorised by Goblin Drill every other match. Um, so, you know, that's just so fun. Goblin Drill Evo is all over my... just everywhere. So, you know, it's, it's, we're going back to what the, the previous meta with this one. So... We obviously have the giant in here instead of the goblin gen. Um, obviously, if you have the goblin gen evolution, you can run that if you like that. If you don't, you know, you don't have to. It's really up to you. Um, I prefer the giant version just because, you know, it's a little bit cheaper. I have the evolution and we can put the evil wizard in here, which is probably the best evil in the game right now. And everyone just hates it. So that's always fun. Um, so let's just honestly go in with it here. Let's back up with the, the, the giant with the sparky. I know I really should have went for the um, for the sparky first and the giant in front, but... You know, we're, 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 we're getting it together here. We're a bit newbie. We're still trying to trying to get ourselves together. Uh, so let's just um, tornado all this together. Make sure our wizard can take it all out really, really nicely. If our wizard could take out that mortar, which it won't. But he's going to go for a goblin gang. Really, really bad goblin gang. Just plays it right in front. Sparky just eating it all up like it's a it's a three course meal so um we're, we're off to like an okay start here nothing really happened either side you know i've done a bit of damage his side he's done a bit of damage my side he does have cannoneer which is interesting i feel like you don't really see much other than the princess tower now after we finally got over the the plague of the um of the dagger duchess you know we're back to having some normality in these things so that's quite nice and um, you can't really complain but we do also have triple spell today boys as you probably noticed now i think there's been a big surge in triple spell just becoming so so strong out of nowhere and um you know it's quite nice to give it a try with this though did i miss that fireball i did my fat fingers slipped um isn't that just wonderful for me uh, really really good job for me there i can't lie um okay so we're going for the giant front here and that he's going in for a really bad miner don't we know what he's doing there um but we are going to kind of just get destroyed here really really bad fireball i mean let's just pretend he didn't do that you know i i miss spells too boys don't worry it happens to the best of us um whenever you're just holding it and you your fat finger slips it's a struggle out here boys i know i know trust me uh, so let me go for my mini pack here and then we can clean up that bomber really quickly um sparky's just gonna do do work as per normal um we can, don't, no complaints about sparky in here uh, so let's go for a giant front here and see if we can keep the sparky alive we're not going to quite do so but um we are just kind of applying constant pressure this guy's kind of struggling against it we do manage to hit our fireball that time look at us being really good at the game uh, we'll hit the tornado just kill the bats probably should have went for the rage there instead actually but i'm going to go for the mini pack here at the bridge stop that crossing because he probably will go for bats or something or yeah he's just going to go for something random we're going to go for the rage here now just kind of take that out we'll go for the giant should have placed it one one more tile over so we'll go up the left side but um you know that we, we did what we did uh, let's go for the tornado here just to get the bomber oh it's not actually going to get the bomber over the bridge well that's not good um okay we go wizard here we showed the clean all this up quite nicely his bomber is not going to do anything thankfully the bomber was in such a dangerous position there we, i was getting kind of scared but we'll go for the mini pack here he's going to go onto our wizard with the miner i'm not sure about that one and um, we can clean that all up pretty nicely and i think now we can go for a sparky in the back here and try and get a big play going um, he is going to go for his mortar. We'll go for the uh, fireball. And we're going to take out a lot of those goblins as well. So that's been quite nice. And we'll go for the giant in front here any second now. Uh, we'll go for the... Oh, wait. Well, I don't even need to go for the knight. Um, okay. Let's go for that. He's going to go for the, his mortar. He's going to be attacked on the right side. Or the left side here. A bit random. I don't know why he'd do that. But it may, works out well for us. Um, our wizard is going to... Or sorry. Our giant is going to get taken out here. We're going in front with the evil knight now. And um, we hit the fireball onto the... Um, mortar we're really applying a lot of pressure but we just can't seem to break through can we um so oh our wizard's on tower wizard wizard is doing big damage we love that from the wizard um let's go for the tornado here just get all that back bam really really nice we we'll go for the giant here go up the up the left side and um, should distract that mortar and hopefully we shouldn't take any damage here um, nice we we'll go for the wizard of the knight here for the bomber and then we just hit the fireball and the rage and that'll be game over boys and yes guys we are back for game number two here after quite an intense game number one against that guy his motorcycle was so so strong he was playing it really really well i think he just kind of lost a little bit at the end and you know we managed to take advantage of that but it was a good game nonetheless so we're gonna hop straight into the second game here and 
I go for my wizard to defend the goblin barrel off the bat, and he's going to be playing recruit, which is quite nice for us. I'm actually going to go in with the giant front. I know it seems a bit strange, but it's just a good, really, really good tank, because uh, our wizard is going to be big, big, very, very useful here. So the more we can keep our wizards alive in this matchup, it's going to be very, very nice for us. And um, I would love if we could take out the goblins as well. And this guy's going to have the suspicious bush, which is quite cool, I guess. We get to see more gameplay of that. If you didn't see my video on the on the bush yesterday, played this really strong cycle deck. I would strongly advise going to check it out. But um, as I was saying about the wizard, um, so the wizard, if, if you guys don't know, is actually getting a nerf next season. Um, so as of next week, you know the the default wizard is going to be getting a bit of a HP a PHP buff, so it'll no longer die to poison. If you don't know, wizard does die to poison, but that will not be any longer of next week. And um, so um, it's be interesting to see how that goes. But then we also have the the shield is going to be getting a bit of a HP nerf, so that it kind of works out really nice. You know, it's. It's quite interesting because obviously the wizard is one of them cards like no one really plays unless they're playing the evil um, and then you know with the evil one the evil wizard is one of the most used cards at top ladder right now so it's a very very strange position that the card is in and um, so it's it's quite nice that they're doing something about it not just letting it be now i'm gonna go with my evil wizard here Um if we could get a, a bit of a tornado going here be nah it's fine we'll just leave it for now Um actually my sparky's still alive somehow that's interesting um okay cool i'll take that don't know how the sparky managed to stay up there but it did, and I'll take it. And we should be get a good little bit of damage done here up the right side. And um, I think this my evil should do a lot. And then we'll just also get the fireball value on this princess once it starts to walk. And uh, nice. Okay, we're just gonna drop the rage on this actually, just to make sure we get rid of it nice and early. Probably should have waited a little bit and put it on my tower as well. And um, but I do think that that full counters. Yeah, it does. If um before before the card even came out, they kind of uh had it. They nerfed the card before it even came out, really, and it made it so that that happened. Um, so it, it used to do like, a th like still do a bit of damage if you counter at the bridge, but no longer does it do that, which is quite nice, I guess. Um, so let's just go in for this. We get some. Oh no, the princess is gonna stop walking. That's not ideal. Um, I kind of wanted the princess to keep going, but she did not. Uh, she just has her own agenda, and we we respect that. So let's go for a wizard here, and the wizard splash. I'm really really hoping will hit the suspicious bush here, and we won't really need to do much more about it. We'll go for the evil knight in front here, and. Um, the wizard did not manage to take out the bush, uh, which is a little bit annoying for us, but it's okay. Uh, we'll just go in for a mini packet to clean that up, and we should be able to pull this off here. We'll go in for the fireball now, and if we go in for... I think we just play this a bit safe, go for our wizard here and make sure that we're not taking any unnecessary damage. And we just need to cycle around a few spells and we take this win, no problem. Uh, so let's actually just go for that now. We're going for the front with the um, with the uh, giant here. Um, we'll take out that goblin, No, not much problems to that. And then if we go for the tornado here, uh, bad hind. If you, if you time it correctly, you can get it where the shot kind of follows tornado. But that's it for game number two, let's straight into the third game. And yes guys, we are back for the third and final game here against... Uh, this guy and if what if you were confused at what I was saying there at the end of the last game so pretty much if you are a better player than me and you know what you're doing more so you can actually time your tornadoes correct like in a good way so that like your wizards your sparkies you can actually just sh like shoot incredibly long distance and um, so you can like hit a sparky shot on the tower from over the bridge it's a bit ridiculous it's kind of broken i think people get really mad about it but it is something you can do if you're quite good at the game unlike me um but if you, if you guys can do it Honestly, fair play. Um, so this guy's quite mad, obviously, because, you know, he had a pretty nice attack there. And we just hit the... Oh, let's go for the tornado here. Come on. Oh, we're bad, bad timing. Bad timing. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to try and do something, but we, we, we couldn't get there, unfortunately. But it's fine. You know, we wasted a bit of elixir. It's okay. It's, I think this might be quite a decent matchup for us. So I'm not too bothered just yet. Uh, we'll go for the mini pack in now, just to counter that. We we'll, should still get one hit off. It's a little bit annoying, but it's not it's not the end of the world. And he, he's going to go in for his own wizard. Okay, so this guy's also got evil wizard, so it's just good to keep that in mind. Go in and do that kind of note down what your opponents have, especially when it comes to their evos. Just because, you know, what you know what to expect, but we don't really have much in here that's going to be, like, particularly vulnerable to the evos, so I'm not all that worried just yet. Um, so we'll go for the giant in the back here, just to kind of make a play. Don't be leaking licks, so there's no point in it. And um, we can also go for a Sparky here behind this. And he's going for the Valk, which I think is, you know... I know he doesn't want to leak elixir, he's kind of a similar situation to us, but I think he knows like we have Sparky, so I think it's a bit of a, a questionable one to go for, but, I mean, you, you do you, my friend. Um, so our giant is just going to get completely countered by his um, his Inferno Tower, which isn't going to be the most ideal. I'm going to go for my wizard here up high, um, which will tank the shot from it, but it'll also reset it. And then what we can do here is go for the tornado here onto the tower. Oh, we didn't, he just missed the shot, and we activated King Tower for badly. 
I feel like that should have got a shot off there, but that's just me coping probably. Um, I, I really, I really don't like that one. I feel like that would have been kind of hard done by there, boys. Uh, so let's go for the re um, this plus the rage here. I think it's be. Oh, never mind. It's going to be absolutely dis horrible for us. We'll go for the tornado though and pull all that back a little bit and hopefully we can get out of this without taking too much damage, still staying in the game. We can go for a knight as well because we're kind of panicking. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but that's what you got to do sometimes, boys. You know, you just got to you gotta put up with these things. So, let me go for my Sparky in the back here. And then if he, this also leaves it that if he does decide to go for his uh, hog, we should be able to counter the hog pretty nicely. Um, I hope. Nice, okay. Get a shot off. Very good, very good. Okay, cool. Let's go for the giant in front here before that wizard locks on. Very nice. And then we're going to go for the evil wizard behind here. Now he is, we do need to keep in mind, he does have the, the uh, inferno tower, which isn't going to be the best for us. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll go for the knight here for the inferno to target onto. Um, just because I feel like that's going to be the kind of best option here for us. You know, to get rid of the knight. The knight's the most, the one we can give away the most. And then we will go for our... But let's go for the mini packet here. I would have loved if we could have got around to Jan, but I just I wasn't thinking enough in advance, um, which is a little bit unfortunate. But can the mini packet get a hit off? No, but we can get a Sparky going. Um, cool. And then if he wants to go for his hog, we do have Tornado. Now we haven't managed to get the the King activation with the Tornado this game, which isn't going to be isn't ideal. But let's go for the Wizard here. The bridge kind of predict that. Nice and oh, it's too far because he's been going for it really close this whole time, but not this time. The one time where we do something to try and deal with it and we can't get anything going. Let's try and go for the wizard here. Um, we're not going to quite get the shot off. We've been, we're struggling. We're trying everything we can to break through here, but we just can't manage it. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's the way it is. Uh, let's go for a rage here and try and get that. No, we're not going to stop it and that's going to be it for game number three. Fortunately, we did, we did still go 2-1 today, but couldn't manage to do it in the last game. And anyways guys, yes, this is the deck that we did run for today's video. Now we couldn't manage to clean up the last game. I feel like we definitely could have played that a bit better. Looking back on it, we probably should have switched lanes earlier. Tried to redo something with the Inferno. But the Inferno just made our lives so hard because it just counters the giant. And then we're just kind of sending naked sparkies in it. You know, there was definitely things we could have done. I feel like that definitely was a matchup that we should have won. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. And I show you guys my losses just as much as show you guys the wins. So this is the deck that we did use. And it was obviously very, very strong. Other than that loss. And yeah, boys, if you did enjoy today's video, do be sure to hit that like and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all tomorrow for a brand new video. And peace out.